so i really hope that you have already calculated ibtada and pbit uh, but if you like to see that again let me do that for you so first of all let us calculate ibtada and for ibtada all you need to do is that you need to pick up your gross profit and you need to deduct your operating expenses but please make sure we are talking about operating expenses and we are not talking about operating account because if we talk about operating account it will include everything right to this point right and we are only talking we we, we only need the expenses before depreciation and amortization so let me take you to the chart of accounts and let me show that here as well so we already have the gross profit that is trading part and we cannot work on the class level because that eventually the, the this parameter will eventually go directly after depreciation and amortization so i will even actually work on subclass and i will say uh, gross profit minus operating expenses and that value here should be ibtida okay so let us start with the new measure and this new measure is going to be named as ibtida okay so here we go and e b i t d a equals first of all let us begin with the gross profit because we already have that calculation in measure and now we will say that please calculate the ftp value that is total ftp for the period value but please apply the filter and that filter is going to be on subclass and that subclass is going to be operating expenses so expenses before i press enter let me double check that i am writing it correctly so that should be operating expenses e should be capital so let me do that now so everything is fine and everything looks fine so i will simply correct the format here to the whole number and that should be comma separated just give it a second and once it is done please apply the comma separation and also please make sure that we are uh, storing it in the right table and for me that is going to be gl so i'm going to press gl okay so everything is sorted so i will take you back to my dashboard now and let us let let us complete it first and uh, okay now let us go there okay so going back to my dashboard and let us simply copy this parameter from here this matrix from here and let us go to page one Control V and Control V one more time and from the second visual I'm going to remove the filter as well and Once I remove the filter you will see that values have changed, but never mind I'm only going to do that, you know with Dex. So let us remove the mount from here and now let us let us bring in it to the value here and there you go okay so unfortunately the values are not correct but there is a small mistake that we have done so let us go back to the ip to the formula again and look at this negative sign here now the problem with this negative is the values that are coming here after this argument are also in negative and two negatives will become positive so let me change that to the positive value and i think this should fix that okay so give it a minute and okay so here you go all the values are exactly the same so that is completely fine right so done with ibtada now let us move to the calculation of pbit as well and let us do that in the next lecture